I'm Elizabeth Reed Fong, and this is Dr. Tamara from USP. We received information in the weekend that uh, the Chief Security Officer had verbally informed uh, security officers that we were to be denied access to the campus. We have further confirmed that the security officers said they would not action take action until they received it in writing. I believe they felt that this was something they needed. It was a legal issue, denying access to campus, and they needed to have it in writing. I am an honorary member of the union, and as part of my right to uh, collective activism, I turned up to support the staff who were on strike, as did Dr. Dr. Tamara. So today we went on to campus at about 12.15, and were let through the gate. And I obtained this information um, from a security staff member who I was referred to. The chief security officer was off uh, at a court case and the senior team leader did not know anything about the case. But we are very concerned as citizens, as alumni of and union members of this kind of discussion taking place at the university. This is against our rights. And also, it's interesting to note that um, if they're looking at me as a union member, there are three of us honorary members. The other two are Professor Morgan, Tuimale Ali Ifano, and Professor Vijay Naidu. But they have not been, um, their name has not been put on any list thus far. So it looks like we women are being discriminated against and bullied in this case. So the fact that the security officers were informed means university management is discussing this matter and we're calling it out. We're calling them out to tell them that we have, the, between the two of us, we've served the university for over 60 years and now as Fiji citizens and as members of the university, former members of the university community, we are being denied access to a space that is funded by Fijian taxpayers in the Pacific. So I'm sure Dr. Tamara would like to um, make a statement also. One of the issues with not being able to get access to campuses, that's a, there's, you know, the university has arguably the region's largest library and the resources in that library, including the archival um, Pacific literature, Pacific-based literature, that you can't find that anywhere else. Very little of it's actually um, available online in its full entirety. So, you know, not being able to access resources that are publicly available to everyone else is a fundamental. Um, we're not being allowed to basically access our fundamental right to, to do something such as educate ourselves be informed and I don't get to be able to sit down with my students in a space that they're comfortable with. I was told as I left the university by the head of school that I would have access to my students and that he would um, permit me to even guide them in the labs whilst they were seeking external or other supervisors. Now that won't be possible if this, if we are denied access. So I, we were basically willing to fight it. We are very concerned mm -hmm. that this is the restricting our expression, our ability to express ourselves by supporting what is going on at the university at this point in time. So we're calling management out on this issue and made that decision.